Sexual harassment is any sort of non-consensual sexual contact. It can happen to men or women of any age. Child sexual harassment is any sexual act with a child performed by an adult or an older child. Children who experience the most serious types of abuse, abuse involving family members and high degrees of physical force, exhibit behavior problems ranging from separation and anxiety to post-traumatic stress disorder. Children who are the victims of sexual abuse are also often exposed to a variety of other stressors and difficult circumstances in their life. The short-term effects of abuse usually occur within two years of the termination of the abuse. The effects vary depending upon the circumstances of the abuse and the child's developmental stage but may include regressive behavior. Sleep disturbances, eating problems, behavior and performance problems at school and non-participation in school and social activities. Adults who were sexually abused as children commonly experience depression, but the negative effects of child sexual abuse can affect the victim for many years and into adulthood. What to do? First, we should explain what the difference is between safety and danger. Let's start with danger. There are three places in our body that are not allowed to touch, and therefore it's dangerous, except for parents and doctor. I will mention the three places, chest, bottom, between the legs. Only parents can touch those places in the case of shower, also in the case of the child being injured. The doctor can touch those places if parents are present and it's allowed. In case someone touch those places that we mentioned, be it an old man or housemate or worker, what should the child do? They should shout with a loud voice and say no. They must run to a safe place or to a close place like home. For example, if that happened in the school bathroom, the child should run to the teacher's room. They must tell their parents what happened. Children who are victims of sexual abuse should always be reassured that they are not responsible for what has happened to them. Offer encouragement for victims by supporting organizations that help victims. Teach others about child abuse. Help make others aware of sexual abuse by encouraging your local school to establish programs to educate both teachers and the students about this problem. When I couldn't bear it anymore, I would just cry. I feel so alone. Her name was replaced with a number. She was assigned a price. She was forced to use drugs. She was put in a menu. She was sold. Two children are sold every 55 minutes. I feel hopeless. I feel dead. I feel so alone. We are not satisfied. Lab 146 was to the abolition of child sex, cyber, and exploitation.